Right then, lovelies, let's have a look at Airfix Model World issue 167. So, I haven't looked at this yet, so I'm going into it blind as much as you are. So, welcome to issue 167, editorial note. Oh, hello, we've got some light strike vehicles. Cool. That looks like an Vault Corsair. Uh, 86. No, it's an uh, RF-8A Crusader. That's cool. And we get a Sky Raider. 46. So, yeah, 172 scale. Oh, I could be interested in that. So, for anybody that's interested, this was the predecessor to the A-10 Warthog. The... Um, where's it gone? Me, 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 me. The A, A1H Sky Raider. Um, specifically used for attacking ground targets, but it had a really long loiter in the combat zone, and because it's it was a, a prop aircraft with um straight wings basically it could carry a large payload which made it ideal uh, especially for uh, para rescues for downed aircraft pilots um, so they could be used to help suppress enemy troops uh, in the rescue of downed aircraft pilots during Vietnam but yeah cool we get this this is this one of um, border models, 135 scale, a Kargi bridge and flight deck. Nice. Right then. Oh, we get a wasp. Boy, this is the first time that wasp has been in 172 scale as a kit. So. For those that remember the Westland Scout that Airfix used to have, this is essentially the naval version. Was it a um, was it a wasp that attacked? What there was, I'm sure there was a wasp action during the, the 1982 Falklands campaign, um, where it hold. Did it hold it? No. There was an action with a wasp during the 1982 Falklands campaign, but I can't think what it was now. Um, but yeah, it's nice to see the 172 scale, um, or a wasp in 172 scale, I should say. So that's cool. Love it. And that is... <laughs> Check firm LF models. Uh, new tool from Revel for another one 144 scale uh, ship. So this is a type uh, type 9C from Revel. And then we have a Spitfire Mark 5B. And this one is from Border Models. 135 scale. Model U 3D printed figure service. Okay, so this is this is interesting. What's it say? UK firm Model U offers a superb range of 3D printed figures and even bespoke scanning. Uh, FX Model World first encountered Model U earlier this year at Key Publishing's Model World live show at the NEC Birmingham. What drew many people's attention was the futuristic looking 3D scanning booth which enables Model U to scan members of the public dressed as they like to be printed in scaled down resin. The company founder, Alan Butler, created his Model U figure service through a return to modeling 
after a 25 year absence, he told AFX Model World, I began modeling again primarily as a means of relieving stress at work. In my childhood, I was interested in various subjects, mainly due to my dad's passion for history. This ranged from World War II German tanks, European and Pacific theater fighter aircraft to Napoleonics and model railways. But Alan's re-entry into the hobby also engendered other ideas of modeling based involvement, which led to him creating Model U in 2015. <coughs> He continued, after becoming interested in scanning and 3D printing and starting Model U, my focus was on model railway figures. I knew that a new level of realism could be achieved, but military subjects were also high on my list for development. Model U offers figures based on sculpted masters to ensure even more variety, but whether it's these or full scans of live subjects, the process is based on photo grammatry whereby 100 plus overlapping photographs are taken of the model at once a clever algorithm then processes these images into to produce a 3d mesh alan has now standardized his efforts on elegoo 3d printers to ensure top quality products fantastic so you could if you really wanted to chuck yourself into a diorama you could go along and get yourself 3d scanned fantastic i like that no i won't be doing it right okay subscription display case oh i like this darth vader's tie fighter tie advanced i should say and this nice f15 here as well <clears throat> and this is a he uh 112 B zero Red Castle. In this first of a two part build, David Holmes builds border models 135 scale Imperial Japanese Navy uh, IJN Akagi's flight deck and Nakajima B5N2 Kate Type 97 aircraft. So, this is really nice. And at 135 scale, that is going to be an impressive build. Um, so, yeah, it's from Border uh, and it's £149.95 pence from AlbionHobbies.com. But that's magnificent. There's, these are the three large main deck parts. I mean, it's a really sparse bridge. It's gone with the intermediate build on this one, which is it's still nice. They've added in lighting for it. Cool. So I'm assuming they'll do the uh, aircraft next month. Right, all new, 130th scale, resin and metal model and figure kits. Why 130th? Right, the MRZR is a popular subject. Magic Factory's 135 scale new tooling comes under Gary Radford's modelling spotlight. So what's this here? Is this some sort of... Electronic jamming system? Countermeasure system? Or is it a targeting array? That's an interesting thing. Hopefully we'll find out. Anyway, model spec. MRZR D4 Ultralight Tactical All-Terrain Vehicle. Uh, from Magic Factory, 135 scouts, £45.95 pence from Tiger Hobbies. Right, come on. Let's see if we can find out what that is on top. Multi-mission hemispheric radar array. Anti-drone.
so that's cool. They do look good as well. An Italian in Spain. What's this? Richard Spreckley builds Special Hobbies Limited Edition Breda 65A-80, which is packed full of extras. This is an advanced build, and it's the 65A-80 Aviazione Legionaria. Um, 148 scales, 43 euros 99 from Special Hobby. Dot EU. Looks like they're adding in plenty of photo edge parts here, and there looks like 3D printed parts here. Um, Special Hobby supplies the power plant, cowling, propeller, and bombs in resin. So they're cast rather than printed. I do kind of like this mottled red, brown, green, ready brown, green camouflage system on a sand background. That's quite nice. AH64, 124 scale. Uh, that's going to be super detailed. Die cast metal body. Okay. 64 centimeters, 900 parts. Cool, right. Uh, out and about, Southwest Model Show 2024. We've got a uh, P valve D eight, uh, an M five forty eight personnel cargo carrier. That is a little Willy tank prototype, and we have a Fokker DR one. We also have a lightning and a tiger. Porcelain punch. Peter Fear and completes Hasagawa's 172 scale AH1 Sky Raider with special bomb. Um, so it's £22 uh, available from amarang.co.uk. But you can see underneath, you can see underneath the all the hard points on this particular wingspan. You know, it's just phenomenal amount of ordnance in, in the same way that the A-10 carries a phenomenal amount of ordnance under its wings. The Sky Raider could do the same, and it was, as I say, um, used specifically as a um, support air fire support aircraft sort of thing in the same way that the a10 is um and would be used a lot to support the rescues the para rescues of downed pilots in vietnam there's a really nice photograph um of a, a, a sky raider in um in Vietnam with the pilot with the canopy back it's in flight the pilots got the canopy back and you can see all the oil streaks from the engine just coming coming back it was a really, it's a really nice photograph oh super spad here we go Close air support often meant low level operations, although the results could be dramatic. 
It led to many United States Air Force Sky Raider losses due to accurate and intense local anti-aircraft fire. A bit of Willy Pete going off there. White phosphorus. And we have Tim Fish Tutor. This is Airfix's 172 scale Beaufort Mark 1A. Um, and it's £23.99 from airfix.com. That's a nice colour scheme. So that will be what? Coastal Command? Because this is similar to how the uh, Sunderlands would be painted. Just trying to see. not giving me the unit not stand out anyway let's have a look let's see what it says so advanced build they're using Edward produces a bunch of PE sets for the Beaufort but just the interior set 73725 was employed right come on Blah 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 blah. Kit schemes. It can be tempting for manufacturers to stick with standard colour schemes. So kudos to Airfix for including two relatively unusual liveries. The first airframe wears Southeast Asia command markings of dark green, dark green, sky grey, while the second is Coastal Command. Yeah, which is this one. Uh, of white air extra dark sea grey. Cool. Based at RAF Castle Kennedy, Scotland, September 1943. Right, okay. Racing legend. Mike Williams steps out of his comfort zone to try his hand at Meng's 112 scale McLaren MP4 slash 4 Formula 1 racing car. So, uh, as it says, main models McLaren MP4 slash 4 1988, and this is in 112 scale, it's £169.99 pence from Creative Models or the Model Works, both.co.uk. I mean, it's a really understated colour scheme. I like the, the red and white there. Hidden gem. So this is, whoops, this is Coventry of Warwickshire show. We have a golden hind here. Obviously a scimitar. Gundam, is that? Is that Gundam? 1144 scale Gundam. Ooh, kit form services 124 scale Bristol Bloodhound makes an imposing subject with Steve Roberts' beautifully painted example standing front and centre on the Coventry and Warwickshire table. So, obviously, um, if for those that remember, uh, Airfix did a kit where you got the trailer, the launcher, uh, a missile, and a Land Rover of a Bloodhound. Stoke-on-Trent modeller John Gehring modified his British Army paratrooper figures 
to replicate the early smock design along with draft animals and carts, creating this scene involving two parrot in Tunisia during November 1942. Nice, phantom there. Barbarossa Battler. Johan Augustsson pairs Tamir's Panzer 135 scale Panzer 4G, built in last month's issue with Tamir KV1 and various figures to complete his Eastern Front diorama. That's actually a really nice diorama. So the Panzer Kumpfwagen 4 Aus G. Um, early production is to me a 135 scale and it's 49.99 from hobbyco.net or other places. I'm sure other places have got it as well. Nicely done diorama, really is. Camera carrying crusader. So what's this? Photo reconnaissance? A visit coinciding with the recent release of Swords 172 scale kits of the type. Kev Baxter offers a walk around of the RF uh, 8A Crusader at the USS Alabama Memorial Park in Mobile, Alabama. So I always get this mixed up with the, is it the F7 Corsair? The one that they used to call the slough, the short little ugly fella. Vort, is it Vort F7 Corsair? Cool, so some nice fo close up photographs there. And Recky Moon, Recky, so we got this. It's the F8U. 1P slash RF8A photo reconnaissance crusader over Cuba by Sword, it's 172 scale, £24.99. You can get it from hanhance.co.uk. It's really nice. I'm, I kind of like the older grey-white colour schemes of um, the old United States Navy fighters, or aircraft, I should say. See all the camera bays there. So there would have been um, like look-down cameras and then there would have been side-mounted cameras which would have, as the aircraft banked slightly, the cameras would have been used um, to obviously photograph the objectives, etc. <sighs> okay, right, books, here we go, on the shelf. US Naval Aviation, 1898 to 1945. Uh, we have this, I spilled my Tamiya extra thin. This is, um, it's £9.99 and it's 204 pages from Moz Miller. Um, you can get it from Amazon. Better known for his online blogs and YouTube channel, Moz Miller has compiled a series of modelling snippets from over the years, mixing tips, advice and more than a liberal dash of humour. As the author freely admits, these are a collection of ramblings. So is that Moz Models? Is it Moz Models? I do watch his channel sometimes. Um, skip ahead. Right, F-80, Shooting Star. Uh, Last War of Super Fortresses. MiG-15 versus B-29 in the Korean War, 1950. It's 1950-35, so was that supposed to be 1950-53? Yeah says 53 there. So, typo. And the A26 Invader. Now, kits, aircraft. Right, here we go. Spitfire Mark V B Overlord. It's got the invasion stripes on it. 
the Arado uh, 240 from Revel, 172 scale. Uh, Avro Anson Mark 1, Anti Submarine Annie, 148 scale. Uh, from Special Hobby. Um, Nordian Norseman Mark 4. Uh, Dora Wings, 172 scale. We have Sea Venom, uh, FAW, 21 slash 53 slash ECM 22, Royal Navy, and is that Royal Australian Navy? RAN? Uh, it's 1144 scale from Mark 1 models. And then we have a uh, MI-17 in Polish Air Force from IBG models, 172 scale. We also have an F4F Wildcat Late Edward, 148 scale. A, oh, oh no, it's 144 scale. Uh, it's 1144 scale. Uh, but it's a PBY2 privateer. So if you're doing like... Um, naval dioramas this wouldn't really be out of place if you were to position it above um their 1144 scale the uh, the revel 1144 scale uh snowberry or even one of the submarines and then we have an airbus a321 200 condor in 1144 scale from revel and this is blackbird models the privateer Armour. So, Prost between battles on Berg Panther. It's nice to see a Berg Panther, I mean, uh, Berg Panther kit. This is ICM 135 scale. We have an M8 Greyhound, again 135 scale, Italeri. Again 135 scale. We have a Racket and the Yad Panzer Jaguar 1. Revel 135 scale. What is that? That looks. What is that? Doesn't say exactly what it is. Um, I've not. I'm gonna have to look that up. I don't know really what type of vehicle that is. So Leopard 2 A6 with crew ICM 135 scale. Armed Forces of Ukraine series. The DAC Sawn-Off British Armoured Car by IBG Models, uh, 172 scale. Daimler Armoured Car is a field modified version that lacked a turret but retained the rest of the interior. Being known as a Sawn-Off vehicle. Okay, that would be cool. Interesting to populate a diorama with that. Um, US Army K-51 radio truck with K-52 trailer, 135 scale for mini art. And then we have a Tempo A400 uh, Typh Lada Pritz. It's a three wheel truck um, from mini art, 135 scale. Uh, Trabant 601 60th anniversary Revel. And it's 124 scale. And we have a BMW 320i Super Production Hobby New New Scale 124. Decals. Vampire F Mark III. Uh, RNAF from Vintour Decals 148 scale. We have the Haviland DH82A Tiger Moth. Arctic Decals, 172 scale, and then RAF NA Mustang Mark III, uh, Euro Decals, 172 scale. Aftermarket parts, some various aftermarket parts. Modeler spray paint handle, for, for those that might have a little bit of difficulty using the spray cans, you know, if you've, you've you're suffering from a bit of arthritis and finding it fiddly to deal with the nozzles. You can get these which just clamp onto the top and then you pull a trigger uh, and it makes it easier. A friend of mine's got one of these because she has 
um, she's got shoulder impingement, which is, affects her grip, so she can't spray, as it were, but she can manage by using one of those. Uh, Lewis Mark III machine guns, uh, ask distribution, 135 scale. So we have a Yonkers F-13 Kronenreicher, Master X scale 148. Uh, part of a series of conversions of Mikromir, Yonkers F-13. This boxing allows you to transform it into Lufthansa float plane. Okay, cool. Uh, oh, P-51BC Bazooka rocket launcher for Edward, scale 148. Precision micro pipette. Uh, another example of Tyrrell tools looking to other fields for useful tools. This is precision pipette is used in science labs. It's ideal for transferring accurate amounts of paint when mixing different colours. We have a generator PE95 with fuel tanks, mini art, 135 scale. Armed forces of Ukraine, infantry weapons and chevrons, ICM, 135 scale. Uh, and that's your lot. We've got a couple of pages of adverts and then the show guide which I'll do the photographs for and then that's it right hopefully you enjoyed that and hopefully I'll see you in the next video all right take care see you soon bye bye